That's a voice. That is a voice. That's Jesus Christ Superstar right I can there. sail that Thank shit. Yeah. <laughs> all right. That is, that welcome voice. to that show, <laughs> guys. Uh, we are back and we are all together once again. Can you do the disclaimer? Right now? No, I'm just kidding. Don't no. Right. We'll do that. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever we say on this show is not our fault. Correct. Uh, being... No, 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 it is. <laughs> no, it's all... Right now, <laughs> it's the network's fault because <laughs> we don't We say... are being told what to say. Correct. We are reading everything. Yes. And Speaking now that of which, we, we don't say sorry for anything until afterwards the show. That's a new thing. <laughs> until afterwards, afterwards the, the show. show. <laughs> yeah. Great English. I love yeah. It. <laughs> Fantastic. Welcome back, guys, Welcome. to another episode. It's our 15th episode of the second season, which means that next week is the last episode of our season. Boobs. 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 That's brilliant. I like boobs. Can I boobs. say I invented that? I'm boobs. gonna invent that. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> next week I will boobs. invent boobs. <laughs> Tune in next week when I invent the word boobs. boobs. What if like when people booed you on stage they actually threw boobs at you? Say yeah. Sad. <laughs> like, Sad. Kidding me? you could pop a boob out and yeah, then man. just throw there'd, it at people. There'd be a lot more people singing. And <laughs> <laughs> you don't like what you hear. Yeah. Show me your boobs, right? right? Boom. I'll or, stop you know, singing, like, if you show me your boobs. Really <laughs> throw tits, like, no, throwing no, kind of gross, <laughs> like, man. Not that you're singing and it's like, Ozzy Osbourne. Or like those uh, no, chicken fillets, the ones that girls put in their bras. What if they, you know, because women throw panty. Malay mo ba may skid marks you ever get a panty on your... No. Do no, chicks, chicks don't get skid marks? How do you know? No, I'm asking you, do chicks get skid marks? Well, I don't know. I, do all guys you you get skid know. marks? Yeah, guys get skid marks. Yeah. See, so there has to what be mean? girls out there. If there's girls out there, girls don't wash know. their hands. Look, girls do not fart and they do not get skid marks. They get crusty stuff and it's their yeah, oh, that's, gross, bye -bye. Yeah, that's yeah. something I didn't need to. Here, just hand it over. Can you imagine? Tuma tuk tuk ka, and then like why like you're doing nice that? Like a nice panty comes up. Can you say it's got nice? Tuk 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 again, I love it. It's got nice brown chocolate blood on it. Yeah, it's crusty. Go in these areas. Sorry, sorry. I, I had a completely crusty different point about throwing boobs. Like, you know what? When you're throwing the panty, you can you take point. out the napkin first? Please, ah, please. Gross. We would very much appreciate that. Bob, we It's a wonder talaga. nobody wants to watch us. We're foul. Yeah, foul, <laughs> foul, foul and disgusting. Except you freaks who are watching right now. Hashtag here. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm Can not sorry. Bala. You know what, we should totally do one of those hashtag things that Jimmy Fallon and them do, they're so funny. Like, like what? Like making fun of people doing hashtags. Hashtags is so cool. Hashtag, let's do it again. One million hashtag hashtags. That show. What is up with that? I don't even hashtag. I, I don't do know, not thing, participate in hashtag. Yeah. The thing about hashtags is it's supposed to like be able to direct you to other stuff that's a hashtag, stuff, yeah. right? I so actually it's like, just figured that out like last week. Yeah, so like hashtag beach photos or some stuff like that. So hashtag bikini. Diba? Yeah. So that but okay. click mo dun, Thanks. You know, it's like that. But like hashtag Steve Sibilo Gay has bananas in his mouth is only gonna have one picture like one. of you so with a banana in your mouth. It's the picture. That's why wow. stick to the program, keep hashtagging Steve Sibilo Gay, not hashtag Steve Sibilo Subo Subo. Who it's not going anyway? to happen. Stop Who making your own hashtag. You should be in marketing. You're awesome. It's not Sim gonna happen. Steve Sibulo Subo Subo. You know what? Let's make it a hashtag war, okay? Steve Sibulo Subo. So good. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back to the show. We are uh, still here till next week then we're gonna take a little hiatus because we're gonna go off in uh to the mountains to the beat uh, we're going to the mountain to recollect the whatever their line they're both gonna go masturbate but we'll be back <laughs> after a couple we of weeks probably are and we're gonna revamp the whole show we're gonna make it all brand new collect my creative juices and give it to you Correct. yes because for two seasons now we have been doing whatever we want and now it is time for us to do whatever you want so what do you want tell us let us know go on our twitter page at that show ph facebook page at that show ph ask fm yes slash that show ph a whole cup's worth of my creative juices what did it pop <laughs> <laughs> i don't remember <laughs> all right 
Hey guys, you know what? Something I did today, and I'm kind of proud of it. I I deleted my Facebook account. Huh? No way. Yeah. You didn't actually delete it. They actually keep that. You no, know? I know, I know. Yeah, but I I, I made the effort to try and delete when it. The, when you delete your Facebook account, they think, okay, she doesn't want it anymore. So that means we're free to sell all this information to everybody. That's what's up. That's yeah, that's why I don't really put that much information on oh. there. You know, you like deleted pictures, your pictures, blah blah account? blah. Yeah, I did. It's kind of a big thing. Why would you do it? It's such a big deal years, for people, right? How many years did you invest in your Facebook? What about your pictures I don't know, like and stuff? 2007, I started What about the it? proof of our friendship? <laughs> now, no one will ever know that I was Which popular at a, some point yeah, it's a good and thing. I worked with you. <laughs> Crap. You I know, s- I can still tell people in the street if you want. I just walk around me <laughs> like, no, it doesn't matter. Like, I do. He is my co host. That's not MVP. real life. It doesn't matter to me. You know how, how, how broken I was when Ann Curtis's account got hacked and then I had to add her new friend account? I'm like, what about the old account, man? All their friendship stuff. All the moments you all hung the out moments. together. All the moments. And mean, we had pictures. I mean, I still have the public account. We can be friends on there if you want. The, you know, the other one. But the private it's one. It's so I, weird I when I add you it. and I'm a fan. I'm not a fan. I'm your friend. I can, I can private message you and I can put a special tag in my status that says, Sip Sibolo is the only friend on this account who is Who's true. A real friend real from way friend back when. From Throwback way back. Thursday. Super important. Hashtag Sip Sibolo Subo Subo. Crap. <laughs> okay. Right. Anyway, yeah, moving on. Wait, why did you do it? What it's happened? like super weird that people are so weirded out by it. They're well, so man, you invest. It's actually an investment. What's, what, what, you know, you, you're investing in it because you put all this time into uploading and answering and... Well, no, but that's you why know? I have the public one. That's for everybody to yeah, ask no, that's me what whatever. I did. Did, you, did you research on that, though? Before Do you, you have switch? a fan page? Switch. Well, no. Okay, so I had, I had uh, an actual page not, that I Why started. am I not friends with because your fan page? Because I don't page. like you. Get it in your head. You know what? You're just and like you are just here out. in this moment. You are just I do not like hang <laughs> out with you. you that girl go, from you go to strip clubs and you don't invite. You're me. just like two girls, oh, one cop, Nicole Essential, who did not add me back. <laughs> we are not friends. I am hurt. Bassy still has a chip on his shoulder about Star Woods. I think we need to take him. I think we need to take him. Oh, I do. That's what we're doing on our break. Yes, we are. Correct. We're taking him to Star Woods, and then he's going to go masturbate after. We're going to get him late. While I am still in Star Woods, by the way, I must say. (laughs) All right, we're going to go to our first segment of the day. It is the A News. A News. A News. A News. A News. A News. Uh, I'll get it right one day. I don't know. Anyway, first article of the day. Actually, everything today seems to be penis-y. So uh, if that's even a real word. <laughs> rev your penises. penises. Yes, rev your penises. All right, let's go. First article Laura. today <laughs> is, oh gosh, I, <laughs> I just had an image. Great. <sighs> do you love your wife? You know those those commercials for like Revicon Max or whatever they're like? Yeah. Do Revicon you love your, your wife? Uh, do you want to get I love sexy, her very much. Right? Yes, yeah. there you go. See, like, if you love your wife, this is what you should do. A loving husband draws 365 dicks for his adored wife. Yes. Okay. Story oh, yeah, is, uh, the wife got like a whiteboard. Yes. And um, stuck it up in their kitchen or something. And basically, Why? the guy promised he would draw a picture of a penis, cartoony dick, okay. every day every for day. a year. For a year. So he did. Why? Because that was his pledge to that his is wife. That is a pledge of love and devotion. There De- is like, dedication. There's and a, me and everybody watching wants to know why. It's a creative endeavor, dude. Yeah, why didn't it's just, like, like that paint thing. Damn painting or something. Because why? it's like you know that thing. Like Did every she like day, Did she say, takes... hey, I want a penis every day. Well, maybe she's really good at giving head or something. So he likes a reminder of that every day. It's a good memo too like, for hey, having sex with your husband. Guess right? what? It's dick day. Right? You know, oh, honey, and look, I drew a new is... dick for you. You know what time it is now? Here's the question that everybody's asking. I'm sure is, yeah. how did these things look? Were they realistic? Futuristic? No, no, no. Or it was card- simplistic. It, if you remember the uh, the movie uh, Superbad, yeah, where uh, Jonah Hill had a thing about drawing dicks. When that was, he was so a kid. funny. <laughs> it's like it and he looks kept him in his just lunchbox. like that. You can actually look for the video on YouTube for the guy who draw who drew like 365 dicks. There's for his actually wife. a video. There is a whole video documenting. E- there's even like Hitler dick. Uh, <laughs> 
uh, burger joust, dick, jousting burger with dick. dicks, hot okay. dog dick. There that is kind a of lot stuff. of dick. Serving dick on a platter, all chopped up. This guy up. is gonna make this into a shirt. Right? I know it. He's, He's gonna. gonna make it it'll be shirt. awesome walking around with cartoon penises on your shirt, like. <laughs> I'm a dick, right. literally. I could, I could do without it. <laughs> and I bet you one day, some dude is gonna get all those penises tattooed to his entire body. That's where we're going in this world, right? He's that, he's that big of a fan yeah. of he's this like, guy's work. Oh my God, have you seen that guy's penis drawings? They're so amazing. I need to tattoo them to my skull. Comics, that's what he's gonna do. He's gonna make comics. Dicky, penis comics? Little dicky comics in the newspaper. Right. Oh. Next to Garfield and Dilbert. Here, here, wait. <laughs> If you the had phantom. to create a penis cartoon, what would it be called? Uh, oh, crap. Well, you, you shouldn't ask me creative things. <laughs> like on the spot. Crap. Spotlight, go! Uh, the... What about you? Spotlight on both yeah, sides. The Dark Dick Returns. There uh, you go! See, I ask him these things because I know he can do it. I'm That's done. pretty good. I, I have like no it. idea. The Dark Dick Returns? The Dark Dick Returns. <laughs> Batman it's about... Uh, <laughs> A guy from the Congo, and basically he's really black, so his <laughs> penis is kind of dark. And um, it's oh, his... so it's not a penis walking around. It's a guy with a penis that walking he was around, living. Exposed. He lives in the U.S. for a while, and then this he finally the goes back ever to the Congo, the and then he's trying to readjust to his new life readjust. as a man from the city who has experienced different things. Hey, Amen. That's Crocodile Dundee. You're just mixing in Crocodile Dundee. Like Congo and, and like the Outback. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> awesome. There you go. The Dark Dick Returns. What the Watch hell is the moral it. of this story that you just read? <laughs> you, you love, love your wife. If you, you love dick. your wife in this day and age, All drawing you need a to penis, do every is draw day. penis every day. Draw a dick and remind All her, need is will cut. not work for my woman. Ba -ba -da -da. Nope. Why? She will not accept it. Why? She because. She hits your dick? No. Not my dick. All you need. Cock. Drawing? Oh, okay. No. Cock is cut just it. a dream. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But yeah, that is funny how like being romantic in this day and age is becoming weirder. You know, like people are trying to be more out there. I mean, Seal proposed on an iceberg and that was a long time ago because him and Heidi Klum are now getting a divorce. He but, did you know, not propose. He actually proposed on an iceberg. He did. Because his name is Seal and he thought that was cute. Because what? Seal. Oh, now I just got it. Right? I just got it. Oh. I just got it. That is, is that stupid. really the reason? What? Well, 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 well it make, guess, then it, make, then it else, makes sense. Oh, I don't think it was just like some random iceberg in the middle of the ocean. I think it's like pretty like they, majestic. By the way, I'm a seal. <laughs> you want to impress me? Propose in the middle of like great white sharks. There. If your name's seal and you propose in the middle of great white sharks, there. I'll bow Technically, to you. Technically, great white sharks don't eat seals. It's killer whales. No, man, I've seen great white sharks. They will eat anything. Great. They will. Yeah. Actually, killer whales yeah, actually do. Anything. Yeah. Killer whales eat them. They're more... Pro Kill all killer the whales. sharks in the sea. I know there are like activists who are against like hunting sharks because of movies like Jaws and how it gave like a ba like bad Correct. press to like... I love the ocean until sharks. Jaws. Man. I am, Jaws scared, the crap I am of scared of sharks. Yep. Like I do not swim in open water just because I think there is a shark. Yeah, yeah, but the thing is, most sharks won't attack you. I do not like sharks and the kill beach. Kill all the sharks. Don't I'm do sorry, that. Kill Don't them do all. that. Kill Don't do that. They do not contribute to the kill ecosystem of the ocean in what in nope. whatsoever way. Nope. They really. just eat things. They just eat and things. That's because they're the head they of the food chain. They are the head and of the And they kill food surfers. Chain in the ocean. Kill surfers. We're Your friends all from Shargal who you have all no these jobs. And all they do is surf. on one leg now because of the Go for it and your your nice Just friend from Shargao will die. Terrible. Just to point terrible something out. Terrible animal. Terrible animal. We are at the top of our food chain. That's why you go get like authentic shark's fin sh uh, soup from a Chinese restaurant. Yes, don't go for that fake stuff, man. Yeah. You get the authentic one, you'll be doing us all a favor. And that thing in the shawmai is totally fake. Demand yeah. for the real thing. Yeah, you know what shark's fin shawmai is? It basically is peace. Who the hell thought of that, man? What? It's peas. It's like green peas. Green peas in the thing? Yeah, that's the difference, right? Isn't that the difference between regular shawmai and shark's fin shawmai? Shark's, shark's fin shawmai is peas. isn't even shark's fin. It's just peas, green peas. Yeah, it's basically pork with green peas, right? Right? What? Right? That's the first time I've ever heard of this. What? Go to Henlin. I never met. They have... Go to Henlin. Shark's fin shawmai. When you order for When it. you order shark's fin shawmai in Henlin, what do you get? 
Like a with peace. A shomai, yeah. With peace. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> All right, moving on to our next Let segment. Let me know if it's we true. you about shark's fin shomai. By the way, that stuff is brutal. They cut off the shark's fins and then they let them back in the ocean and they drown and die a horrible Just painful death. Just throw them away. They'll survive. They're such <laughs> big predators yes, anyway. They grow back. No, it's don't. a fallacy. They like, think that they die, but they're they like don't. lizards. They grow back. All right. They grow Next back, article. and then they come up with arms, and Next then you get shark. The article octopus. is about a man who uh, sent an angry email to the trading standards officers after he was turned down by an Eastern European woman at a brothel in the area. You know, Eastern Europeans are poor, man, but to turn down a customer, right? Yeah. I think that's the biggest slap in the face ever. You got some hard-earned cash. You go over. You want I to got the money, bitches. I don't know You're like, what hey, yeah. what up? What what's the story again? So the, the guy went to get laid. Yeah, he went to go be with a prostitute. Said, no, I don't want to. Yeah, she's like, I don't want to bang you. And then, so what did he do? He, he went to go to and complain to the trading standards office. Like the tourist office for the. There's clear. actually a thing for yeah. that. Yep. Yeah. In in uh, North London. Wow. By the way, your prostitute did not want to bang me. Yes. Like, this should I'm not very be allowed. No, that's actually what he said. He said he wasted his trip. Uh, and he came that... from, like, far away. What the hell was wrong with this guy? Did he have, like, something on his face or his head? or what, what Was his dick kind of no weird idea. looking? Yeah. Yeah. What would you Did do, you like, if you went for, point? like, a rub and tug and then the girl looks at your thingy and she's like, oh, no, no, sorry, I can't do it. I would do, like, uh, what was that movie? Unforgiven. No, I wouldn't do The that. cowboy that's movie? Bad. Yeah. Unforgiven? Yeah, that's bad. Never mind, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> All right. Know, but anyway, yeah, so the guy right went in and he complained and he said that prostitutes should not be allowed to reject people. But yeah, did he? Did he? Yeah, did he threaten to rape her? Did yeah, he say something point? weird Why? like, "I want to choke you while yeah. I bang you"? I don't think so. I think it was just a matter of you know, hey ho, I want to hoe you, and she was like, no. What, what do you what think of this? You know, I have a complaint though. What is yeah. wrong with that prostitute? What isn't the whole point is that they don't give a shit? It's no, like okay, dude, I'm, but. Wait, they have standards? They what have if like... it's weird looking? What if he could get a fungus from what he was packing? Ah, see, uh-huh. That's a different story. Now, does the story say that? Did he look he, like of grime? Co- of course he wouldn't say anything like he'd No, like... but I mean, the, there's kind of... Of course this he, reporter? He would does never reporter put it do in any the research? report that... Yeah, obviously the report was given by somebody he complained to, so he's never going to admit that to people. Prostitute did about... not want to bang my yeah. chalky dick. Yeah. <laughs> I have and I don't Tulo. blame her. It was so fungus <laughs> infested. There was literally chalk falling off. It was like fungusy chalk. It's like you drop your pants and, and the like, whole room fills up with like, like peanut tubo essence. There's like a, a cloud. It's like, there's like a fungus cloud. As soon as you drop your pants, the speakers come on and they start playing Winter Wonderland. Bro, check my man. You know what? Oh my God. There's something wrong yeah. with it. Being rejected by Push. prostitutes. Yeah. Yeah. Not good, bro. Something's up. Anyway, we gotta go into a little break, but we'll be right back with more of that show after this. Um, two girls, one cup. I heard there was this video going around on the internet some years ago. Um, because we're two girls, me and Nicole, and a cup where we get all our toppings from a cup. It's not lustful. <laughs> the show is about shoes, bags, friends, girlfriends, gossip, current events, everyday life. I don't know. Dicks on my head, apparently. <laughs> and the dick on Nicole's head. Well, we got a segment called Let's Be Honest. Would you do whoever? Would you do Max Eichelmann? I would. <laughs> Cisco. Because there's a bro code, but there's no written sys code. Uh, truth or dare, kupal people, bullshit. We share pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Two girls, one cup. You should watch the show. Welcome back. We are here to give you more things the f- that you ask for, that? but are never grateful for. So, yes. F all of you. Correct. All right. Uh, we've got our <laughs> fan signs for you bastards. 
You're all retards. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you all ask for shit, but don't get back. You know what I'm saying? That's you don't it. even reach around. Yes, Not even to reach is around. For, that uh, is so wrong. Who? Harrow Bands. Who likes Captain Subo Subo? You know what? You can Subo <laughs> this. <laughs> That is correct. <laughs> Dude, this, it just came out my nose. <laughs> I haven't had that happen. <laughs> that is Louis Diok. Hey, no. hey, this is Louis. Hey, 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 Louis. Hey, Louis. You can't just do you that. You just don't sit yeah, on the couch yeah. anymore. You don't say uh, hi to the folks. All right. Okay. Come sit on the couch for a second. Move over a little bit. <laughs> Louis, your fans want to see you. Come here. Uh, just for a bit. Yeah, just that, for that a That Russian woman. You're, Ye you're yelling to Basti's chest so we can hear you. <laughs> All right, so that's yours, Harrow Bands. Harrow Bands can subo this. Yes, he can. And now mine is for uh, Breaking Barb. I know what you did in the Banyo, Barb. Yep, yep. I know we, what, we were there. You, did. you know just didn't you notice did. us, but we were there. Yeah. Well, what you did. I, don't, <laughs> I don't know about that. You took a dump and you tugged it. <laughs> Speaking of, of which, remember? I was, <laughs> he it in. What about it was Sim? A, it was a it was a cut and pull back. Yeah, dude. He took a dog. <laughs> <laughs> it was a. <laughs> it okay. was that feeling. <laughs> and then, actually, I always wanted to know that. This is gonna be a really gross question, what? okay? But okay. when you when boys dude, take hot, a poop, man. Yeah. What up? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have a question, all men with a penis right now. Okay. When boys poop, does like water splash on Did your you penis? Did you look at me when she said old man? It, um... No, it splashes on your balls. Your balls. What do you mean? When you what? When you poop. The backwash. Do the... you get like splash on your teeth? If it's a... No, no. It's a huge tongue. It's a big... <laughs> it's, like it's a big tongue. shit. Like a, a giant one, a massive one. It falls in the water, it goes back up on your balls. Yeah. You know, I love how, you have know, you because Sim's parents are doctors, he always gives a scientific penis <laughs> advice. I love that you are so scientific. Oh, but I do have advice for if you want to avoid this whole scenario. I've heard that if you get like a single sheet of toilet paper, you put it on the, in the toilet, in the water, it minimizes the splash. Hey, that's actually that's good. A good that's, that's, a lot, that's a life hack. But yeah. doesn't that float around? No, 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 but see, it... What well, happens to your toilet bowl? It, it, it's it, huge. What no, if, it, it's no, great it's okay. because the, the, the poop lands on the toilet paper that's on... Yeah, what if it misses the toilet paper? That's a big toilet bowl. Yeah, you, yeah. you know what, like giant poopage? Are you like pooping for cows yeah. here or what? No, but it, it, it minimizes <laughs> No, I concur back. with him, man. There's, there's moments where you just have these... You don't even know where they come from, they got, right? And whoa, where did that what? come from? Or have you ever done that? Like, what? you take a poop... <laughs> And I'm not even joking. It's like you're reading something or whatever, like you do, right? And it's just like, <laughs> it just keeps going, right? But wait a minute, wait a minute. That's like not, a, it's not the end of it. It's not the end of it. You're like a it's slushy a, machine wait, for shit. It's not the end of it, right? Because it's such a, it's it's just going at such a, a perfect, you know. And you're like, I don't want to cut and it. And it's perfect. No, no, no. You don't. You don't cut. You it. don't cut it, dude. It's like. And you know, there's like those two. It's like when you do that and you don't cut it, and it's like, ah, perfect, right? It's like the, perfect. the perfect shit. But here's the thing: you're done. It's done. And then you look in the toilet, and it's not there. <laughs> huh? The ghost shit. Yeah, man. There is such a thing. <laughs> and then you, and then you're thinking to yourself, and you're like, what the hell did that? Did that just happen? That was far too man, I could have sworn. I that actually happened. think that. Did I, I? I asked myself. Did I? Did I shit with so much strength that it flushed itself? No, no, no. Itself? Yes. Yeah, exactly. It was just so it was perfect. So perfect, and then it, it goes just went in. right in the thing and did this and just just and goes like that yeah. inside. Wow. But is pooping then unsatisfactory for you because no, you can't see it. your poop? Oh, after. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, yeah. do you do you do you, like do you, because if you can't I, see I have poop? to look after. Do you? And yes. I judge. <laughs> you look judge. back yes. at what you did. Of course. It's like, yes. yes. Not bad. It's not your bad. bed. <laughs> you made it. You gotta. Yes. Yeah, so yeah, yeah man. Yeah. 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 We put my to go. Ah, banana. All right. You your fan sign. Your fan sign. Oh, I got. I got it. We couldn't find the usual fan sign thingy, so Basti decided to. Uh... So I am going to at Coy Mendez. All right. <laughs> at Coy Mendez. Two pictures, buddy. Not anymore. Not anymore. Not me. Just yeah. on his arm. <laughs> Your mama. 
Yo mama! All right, so those are our fan signs for this week that you're all so fucking ungrateful for. God damns right. it, always being so nice to you. Can't even right. follow us on Can't Twitter, Jesus. My Facebook. Actually, hey, you know what? While you're at it, we're gonna be taking right? our little break, so while you're at it, take the time. Yeah, yeah, just that add time. us. Oh, Take Come that on. time. Yeah, and on face. Do we even have a Facebook? Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. We were That's talking about it like for the PH. past few weeks. I don't listen to you. You, you <laughs> plugged it last you. week. I don't Never listen mind. to myself. <laughs> That's good. I'm I just glad. sit here. Okay. All right, so as you all know, if you're a regular watcher of that show, PH, we are... Uh, that show, PH, is really good. We are about to As go into to our second it. segment, which is our Ask FM, where we take questions that you ask us and answer them I ourselves. love this stuff. I love interaction. It's and actually pretty cool, man, because uh, I was surprised that so many of these people are asking questions. Yeah. I don't I, even know what's wrong with you guys. I like this. There's the man, Pico. And today, Hello. we have the first question. It's for Sib Siblo. Sib, are you Cibolo. ready for your first question? What is up? All the way from Kazan yeah. City, we have Seep Cibolo in You're the right corner. Now, here is your question. We don't eat bananas with condom nor deep-throating it. Ha ha ha, do I. we love you, Banana Man. That's not even a question. It's really not a question. No, it's a statement, but Thank a good one. Thank you for participating in our contest. <laughs> Thank you. Come that back again soon. You should be on a show, man. That was good. Thank you. I do a lot of voices. What are you doing? I'm here? a chameleon. Oh, boom. <laughs> Hashtag Sib Sibolo Subo Subo. Yes! Always Not gonna happen. Guys. Not gonna happen. Okay, real question this time. To everyone. In relation to my question before, who do you think will be the strongest porn superhero? Jack Hammerman, Bushmaster, Clitora, or the most awesome banana man with a squirting gun? <laughs> also, what, you do, dude? That is me, what will be the name of your enemy, villain? Hashtag Sib Sibolo Subo Subo. Hashtag Catalano Kirikili. Hashtag Basier Tari Sexy Dao. When did that one come up? I don't know. That person who was complaining about <laughs> the Basier Tari Sexy Dao. That is weird, man. man. And they made that up, and now all of a sudden it's sexy. <laughs> sexy Dao. Sexy Nat. What's the question? No, no who is like the awesome superhero? Yeah. Who is the strongest? The vagina porn always superhero. wins, people. The vagina yeah. will always win. I would have to say Clitoro would be the best. It like, doesn't matter what it is. I like it Jack. Can, I like, it can be a stinky freaking vagina if. I like Jack Hammer. Worst comes to worst. Well, I don't know. Jack Hammerman. Jack Hammerman sounds pretty no, good. No, uh, you weren't here when we did this. I, I, I watched this episode. You did. Yeah. Which no, episode? The one where we gave ourselves superhero yeah. porn names. Weren't you on that episode? No, 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 you were at a wedding. Yeah. Jack Hammerman, Bushmaster, Bushmaster Clitora, Clitora actually Banana sounds like man. a nice She-Ra name. Who are you? Who would you be? If asked. Capitan Subo Subo, man. Or, or the man? Is there a man? Even a better one. Come Capitan on, Subo Subo, man. Think of your own. The, 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 on the spot again. <laughs> <laughs> Two times in one show. The gay gardener. I don't know. <laughs> Gay Gardner or uh, gay gardener. the plugger, this, this actual, right? <laughs> Guy Gardner. Who's that? Who's that? That's gay what? Gardner, the Green gay Lantern, Gardner. Gay Gardner. Yeah. The plugger? How about if you just uh, the plugger? The plugger. I don't know. The butt plugger. <laughs> no. All right. So who's the strongest? Clitora. The I, I win. Clitora. I win. It is no. I, Clitora. Guys, okay. Here oh. in the studio, can I get a consensus? Will the vagina always win? Vag yeah. wins. Okay. Vag Everyone wins except Aspen who likes Ass. Ita said no. <laughs> okay. No, I'm just so wait, what about our, our en enemies, the villains to our that I superheroes? Do not know, man, but, um, I think Captain Bushman's enemy would be the clip. I am the not shame. Captain Bushman, I am the <laughs> Bushmaster. The, the Bushmaster. Bushmaster. The waxer. The waxer. <laughs> no, the waxer. What's the name of that girl? The one who who came out on and all? What what's her name? Uh what a, the bulbalizer. <laughs> she would be my enemy, man. Okay, that's it. That's that she's my kryptonite, enemy. the bulbalizer. That is your enemy. Yours would be what? Lube man. Lube man or Captain <laughs> giving him Captain Straight guy. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Lousy. What's wrong with you today? You're you guys really, suck. really good at these stuff. <laughs> I, 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 yeah, if I'm under so pressure, right. I do not right. perform, okay? It's okay. It's that's so what okay. she said. It's just like <laughs> that's <laughs> not I couldn't get it up. <laughs> Okay, so what about Clitora? Who's Clitora's uh, worst end? Like Pinora. Pinor? Pinor? Pinoy. <laughs> I didn't say anything. Was that like libel? That's not like a libel. <laughs> I don't know. What do you think? Who's Clitora's enemy? Who came up with Clitora? Didn't you? Do? Me, oh, I did. Who's your enemy? I don't know. What's the enemy of Clitor uh, Clitoris? 
What's the thing that they... Yeah, you know, the piercer? The piercer? The... Uh, the bolitas, bolitas man. Captain Perineum? I don't know, man. <laughs> Small titi guy. Oh, oh no. my god, micro penis <laughs> man. Micro penis man. Micro penis man. Oh my goodness, awesome. All right, there you go. Micro man member. <laughs> there you go. Micro member man? Yeah, micro member man. There you go. Triple M. Yeah. They call him M3 for sure. Guys, by the way, we have a disclaimer at the end of the show, so please stick around <laughs> and wait for it. Yes. Don't go anywhere. Okay, okay, okay. It's the story at the end, yeah, just so you get the facts straight. It's okay, a new wait, thing. wait, okay. Tatlo kami from MTV. You're a rock star. This is a music seriousohan question. Na to. Put on your serious hats, okay? Yes, sell out. Since for you do guys... it for the money. <laughs> All right, anyway. Since you guys are in the music industry, do you think OPM music is dead? And if not, can you name some bright spots on the OPM scene? More power to your show. <clears throat> Hashtag Luis Filipino Godfather. Hashtag Catalano FHM cover. Please. Where did you get that? Hashtag you know what? Bastier I think you are just Gojo. rewriting these things, no. man. It was like Luis <laughs> Taemo, and you're like, okay, I'm gonna make it Luis. Filipino super duper godfather. And then there's one for you that's bagarin that you what? might like. Sib Sibulu, not gay, just sucks bananas. <laughs> <laughs> Screw you guys. You're a bunch of retards. And uh, you can suck it. <laughs> My you banana. Subo this. You can subo this. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I love you yeah, guys. Anyway. Thank you. That's beautiful. <laughs> okay, so the question of OPM is dead. Guys, answer. OPM, dead. Yes or no? Basti. No, um, well, depends on what you mean by OPM. If you mean uh, organization ng Pilipinong mga awit. <laughs> really? That's what it was... Yeah, that's what OPM, that's what OPM means. really means, man. Ah. They don't, origin, original OPM Filipino music. It wasn't even established for bands. It was established for the uh, Martin Rivera's yeah. and Apple. Ogie Alsa Alcas Alsakids. Uh, Alsakids. <laughs> and yeah, it was for the singers. Yeah. Now, uh, you know, which it eventually uh, changed, changed into Filipino music. Which, which is funny because made more you don't sense. spell yeah. Filipino with a P. Anymore. In English. Anymore. Yeah. So it should be OPM. Right? Yeah. OFM. No, but it's, 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 it's actually organization <laughs> yeah. ng yeah. Pilipino. Yeah, but it now no, with the, the English meaning, hindi no, kasha. It's yeah, not no, no, no. Filipino right. anymore. But anyway. It, so, it just ended up, but so I think that OPM, <clears throat> as in the, the music, right, is alive as long as there are bands out there. That Because you're always going to have bands. And, and the thing is right now, there is so much diversity. There is so much, uh, you know, energy in it. It's just all underground. So it's up to you guys to go out and basically discover and support what you like. Yeah, you can go to places like 19 East, right? There's 19 that. East, Sagiho, there's uh, Route Handlebar, Route 196. Where else is there? Yeah. And no, not even not even those places. What's I mean, there's also that? some. Yeah, I, I, I got my own weird opinion on it. Why okay, you think go, it's dead? Go. I think um, the, the machinery is dead. dead. Yeah. The, the Filipino artists do not identify themselves as Pinoy original Pinoy musicians anymore because we have a global market, and uh, every everybody's music is available online. So really. Okay. Unless you're singing like, Kaming mga Pilipino, nandiyan oh, so you're, you're, yeah. so it has to be like, in your opinion, it has to be, Magsasaka ng kalabaw! That's, unless you label yourself as an original Pinoy musician that way, then... But don't you, you wouldn't, so you would argue then, we that are, if you're Filipino and you're making music, then it's not original Filipino music. You're, you, you, you ju you're just a musician that happens to be Filipino, Filipino, but I have a global market. I actually have a friend, and it's kind of wild that you said that, because they put his album in Pinoy, you know, the OPM section, uh, was like, and he was like, fuck that, man, why are you going to put me in OPM? Put me in rock! Parang ganun naman sa akin eh, kasi everybody like, uh, in rock. That's like all the other international bands, kahit, whether they come from yeah, it's not, Scotland or that's like, actually a good point. or, or that's Southern America, American, South yeah, America. Yeah, you don't know, original American yeah, music yeah. 
original Scotland oh, music, yeah, yeah, original. Yeah. Now I yeah, look you're if right. if you're like a, a new kind of Filipino artist, you don't look at yourself as coming mga Filipino, may mga kalabaw. It it doesn't happen Man, that way anymore. Gotta write. Can we do like? You know, I should do. I will that's make so you an I OPM will. song. Yes, next. Give week. me till season week, three. Right? We're still doing next week. I met a guy who used to animate for Marvel. We could get him to do a cartoon yes. with that song. You want I to do that? I will do an, a real OPM song that is app and real for everyone. And, and not all of these, not all of you sell out global Filipino artists. I will make something that is true to what this land stands for. It better for. have, it better start with Kami coming. mga Pilipino. <laughs> It's really, but can I throw in my? Okay, go, go, go. For me, like I agree with you guys, but at the same time, like what I think is that if we're gonna call it OPM as in like original Filipino music, I think that. The local scene needs to go international, like global, and be like its original Philippine music. That's what you guys are saying, it's, right? It's original when you, you do it. You don't call it Philip. We shouldn't be calling it original Philippine music. Kung Philippine music nga, it's just music. Dapat, it's just music. Yeah. Bakit yeah. meron ba tayong you're, label, you're, diba? you're about to release an album. Yes. Do you call it is OPM? Your album yeah. Be OPM? Yeah, it is. Okay, then because shut I'm up, Filipino. Sim my <laughs> no, well, is a Filipino. My producers are Filipino. My uh, the guys that are gonna be in my video are gonna be Filipino. Everybody is producing. Everything is made by Pinoy. So that to me, I consider that Filipino music. But what is up with the label of putting it, uh, putting Filipino on it? Why do I have to hashtag it? By the way, Filipino made. It's, 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 you have whenever you say hashtag, perfect. you have to do this. Oh, yes. Get with the why, why, why do I have to hashtag? Sib Sibulo Filipino gay. I don't know. <laughs> no, but the thing is, that's what I'm saying is that if it's supposed to go international, then call it Filipino music. But if not, it's just here, it's just music. It's just tanggap ng lahat, de ba? As music. Bakit meron tayong OPM to? Hindi mo hindi mo pinapakinggan. Because that's what's happening actually. People don't want to listen to stuff that's labeled OPM. Why? Okay, hey, can can actually I wanted to find out. This is actually kind of serious. There was this whole seven one zero seven thing that happened. Yes. Did. Why? No, no, but how seriously, dare how, dare how dare you talk how about dare this? You? How no, dare no, no, you? But I want to know, and a, a lot of people apparently went, which I think is good. <laughs> but but what I want to know is, uh, did the people that go were they there for like the local bands? Did Probably they, not, because you, know? you can catch the local. Acts. Uh, that I, that that's, I don't know. That's what I want to know. We have a no somewhere in the crowd, but uh, I don't know. Like I if, really if don't. the whole thing was just. Pinoy acts. I think I could have gotten. Yeah, I could have gotten. I, I could have gotten with it. Gotten what do you mean? You could have went to like. Oh, uh, you would have gone. If probably. It was, Most like, likely, yeah. You could have gone to like. Uh, really? Yeah. Oktoberfest and watch the same things as Mo said. I didn't say it. Oh, uh, I have nothing. I have, I have no nothing. Words. <laughs> Sorry. No, I mean, okay, okay. So basically, what I'm trying to say is. Do you, as the person watching, support local music? If you do, then OPM is not dead. If you don't, then See, there are a lot of work. If you're if you're asking the, if there are any great bands today out there, there are. In a, a, Pinoy, a yes, there are. Yes, there are. Yes. But whether they consider themselves as, oh, by the way, I'm doing this for the Philippines, <laughs> Pinoy music, bro. I just think he's asking this because all the avenues are dead now. Yeah. Like there's no MTV. Uh, yeah. There's MTV Pinoy. There's yeah. Mix. Yeah. Okay. But, what do you mean there's no MTV? How can no, you say there's, there's no MTV? There's MTV. There's MTV. Pinoy. It's back. But you know, it, it's like there's no local <laughs> radio station that's playing like Pinoy uh, stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're it's, only it's required right. to play one song per hour. Yeah, what if we just now? change the label? Maybe we need to get rid of the word OPM because nobody's using it anymore. I mean, there's such a debate about it. it's dead, it's not dead. Who the fuck cares? You guys killed it because you don't clap when people play in the bars. You ever Are fucking you notice that your shit? Fault. They're all standing there like, the Ay, Pinoy kayo, hindi kami papalaktak kasi baduy kayo. Tapos, bigla na may white band from America. Or it something. happens. Like, yeah! Everybody's happens. so nice! Every yeah! Yay! Wow, these guys Yay! really Oh, God, these guys really right? suck. Right? Yeah. Like, yeah. pero kayo ng yes! And you keep asking them to cover like Creed or some oh, crap yes. like that. If you don't want OPM to be dead, support 
freaking Filipino artist. Do it. Bring it back to life. If you think it's dead, resuscitate it. Yun yun. Filipinos yeah, need to heard. support Filipinos instead of Korean stuff. Yeah. Did you get why all that? Why, off your why? Chair? <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Was that I something mean, you've been holding on like, for a long time? People, OPM, OPM is like... dead. OPM said, what? K pop is alive. I... How did K pop come to life here? Oh, guys? Uh, that's Flower weird. Farm. I want Flower nobody, Farm. That's nobody. bad. <laughs> Flower <laughs> Farm. Anyway, all right, we're getting upset. This is why we don't do serious questions <laughs> on the show. Stop. It has our, like, we? emotional. Do you know who you're writing oh, to? <laughs> oh, crying out loud. Stuff. I like Hilera. I, I, like, I like some Ray bands. Hilera? No, Hilera. <laughs> the band Hilera. Ray, Ray Hilera. <laughs> you said well. I like the band Hilera. See, there are local bands out Hilera there. Hilera is good. an awesome band. Yeah, um, uh, What's his name? Eli Buendia's new band. Uh, oh. With the guys from... From the guys from Hilera. Yeah. yeah. What, Children of the... Uh, crap. Huh? Huh? The the all tapes. In fact, they're not just a great band. That's a great album. You gotta get that. Uh, what else? I like, Razorback has a new album, which is great. Um, I like Clem's new band. Um, crap. Okay, don't say it. The one that the one that was the camera walls, and now it's like uh, crap, they have a complicated. Taken game. by Cars is good. What's Clem's band, man? Just look for. Let's uh, look for Clem's band. All right, we'll come back to that in a second. Next question. Here we go. A friend, uh, this is not a question, but you guys are going to like it. <clears throat> a friend showed me a clip of you discussing the Cowper's gland, and I tried it with my hubby. <laughs> I guess he liked it too much and is now wanting me to lick his asshole. Hugas ka ba ako dito? I enjoy... No, no part in this. I enjoy giving him BJ's. We are so glad we can mess up your life. <laughs> but it ruins it for me when I'm he suddenly so... shifts. Wait, wait. And next thing I know, I'm face to face with his asshole. <laughs> You know what, Roman? I love you. I I'm did, so sorry. I distinctly remember doing. But you have what is called unleash the beast. Where and I would have done that. You awoke the beast it. in your husband that likes the Cowper's what, gland. What was the uh, Cowper's gland move? It's the gooch. It's the gooch. The gooch. Yeah, no, but you're just doing it. What is it? Just remember so when I was like a couple of weeks back when I was talking about you're getting a BJ and then you. Slide, slide. <laughs> yes. I think your balls is to your head. I think head, he was watching that And then it happens. He was like, wait, kaya ko yan. Parang pwede. You know what? I can recreate what happened by just <laughs> sliding it in. <laughs> She's never gonna know this. <laughs> it's like, Calvers gland, balls, Calvers gland, well, balls, this thing tastes like anus. Ass. <laughs> tastes like ass. Kind of tastes like ass. Oh my gosh. Here, I have a solution for you, honey. If you're going to have sex with your husband, make sure he takes a shower first and insist yeah. on it no, no, no. he's going to put his asshole in your no, face. No, yeah. I think I think that would be the <clears throat> smartest thing is because he's probably going to do it again. No. But you have to insist. And I think it's something not, you know, I don't think anyone would take it against you. But what? If you said, okay, you want me to lick your asshole, fine, I will. Wash that shit, and here's a bidet, or what do you call it? Uh, a bidet. douche. Here's a douche. A douche. Give yourself you a mini enema? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, clean it up. Yeah, really. be like the porn you know stars do. You think the porn stars, the porn Go stars. Go in there with a full ass? No, no way, man. They douche <laughs> that thing oh like goodness. three times. They, they take before. three dumps. Go in there with a full ass. solution if you don't want this to happen again. <clears throat> Next time your, your husband sticks his uh, ass Ain't in your face, yeah, ass. stick a finger up in it. Boom. Hey, you might be awakening another beast. <laughs> uh, what, what if he likes it? Yeah. Really? What if he likes, he it? likes it and he's like, off. hey, hey, uh, remember the time you stuck that finger? Um, um, you remember knew. that vibrator you have? Maybe we can, we it, can try that it next hit time. A, yeah. It hit a point and then I kind of liked it. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I just, say, I just say just straight up, man. Why don't you get him to eat your ass? Oh, patas. Patas. Pwede, pwede. patas, patas. You guys are on fire today. All right, patas, we have more patas. questions. Are you ready to answer them? Go, 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 go. Okay, <clears throat> I'm going to pick the good ones because we're almost out of time. Well, we can answer them next time. Keep going. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I'll pick two more. There's one serious one, and then there's a couple of funny ones. So here we go. Uh, this one's kind of cute. Uh, hey, everyone, I'm literally a big fan of the show since the first episode. I'm like just you're a big like guy? Fat, like that? Is that like you're, you're, like, you're, you're like a fat person? person. Like you're you're more, more, you know what? You try doing the whole... Don't uh, use literally when you don't mean you're actually big. Correct, because we will misunderstand that and call you fat. Sorry. 
So what did our fat fan have to say? I'm just curious if you guys are pet lovers like me. Oh, you curiously God, fat you and a so pet lover? Question. If so, what pet do you own? Thanks and more power. I'm bait you na man. So sorry that. about that. Sorry, yes. I yeah. take it all back. Pets. You, are you have a dog? You can add my dog on Facebook. Look for him. <laughs> Ruff Cibolos. The answer's all. Ruff My deleted Are Facebook you FF account is friends Cibolo. with Ruff. My really? God. My old Facebook account is you friends with Ruff. So Why did you kill your... <laughs> See, you Get killed a friend. You have rough sea. Rough. What is yours? Cat. Cat? I guess it's a cat, right? No, no. I'm saying I, I was friends on Facebook with his dog. With my oh, dog, Ruff Cat. Ruff you have cats, right? Yes. And yes, you like cats. Two cats yes. Is that because your name is Cat? No. Okay. Add up Ruff Cibolo. He will add you back. I've managed his Facebook account. He answers, account. yeah. He answers all <laughs> the questions. It's true. Bro. And you? I don't have a, a pet, but he it would hates be a animals. Dog. He has twin daughters. That's yes, enough. <laughs> he doesn't that. need That's dogs. Exactly. Whenever he sees a dog, he runs over them. <laughs> and Luis is Very a cat nice. lover like Dude. me. <laughs> no. I'm gonna get shot. The <laughs> All right. Okay. Next I one. See. I love dogs. What's next? Add do you, you want to answer an RH milk question? That's okay. Go. Right there. We'll, we'll do it what quickly. Is it? Are we pro RH or anti RH? Pro RH milk. Pro. Same here. Totally anti. You know what? <laughs> you guys hate God. You, you pro RH Bill guys hate God. Why? Basta. <laughs> <laughs> Basta. You hate. Wait. If you're pro RH Bill, you hate God. I think I might be changing my opinion now because you are a confused. God hater. You hate nature. You hate the sharks, and you hate <laughs> everything that is nice in the world because you are pro RH Bill. That's okay. what's wrong with this world. You're, very, You're probably very related to Napoles because you are pro RH Bill. <laughs> <laughs> and you went to 7107. You are pro RH Bill. Haters. Oh my goodness me. We're pro RH because we believe that people should have safe I'm sex. Anti. There are STDs going around and people need to protect themselves and also people should have a choice. STDs are like a curse God gives on bad people. What are you, you talking get, about? You get the AIDS because you're gay. That is what it's, <laughs> what it's about. Yes, and gay, being gay is a choice, right? No, no, no. yes, yes, totally. Gay is a choice. And there is a story at the end of this I have, show. I can pick a wom beautiful woman or a guy's bullet and oh I will pick No, you are bullet. born gay or straight. <laughs> All that right, is, we gotta go, guys, into our you're next You are God break. haters. Back with more uh, thank, hate thank the Lord. I'm pro church. Totally. God haters. One cup. I heard there was this video going around on the internet some years ago. Um, because we're two girls, me and Nicole, and a cup where we get all our topics from a cup. It's not lustful. <laughs> the show is about shoes, bags, friends, girlfriends, gossip, current events, everyday life. I don't know. Dicks on my head, apparently. <laughs> and, and the dick on Nicole's head. Um, we got a segment called Let's Be Honest. Would you do whoever? Would you do Max Eichelmans? I would. <laughs> Cis code. Because there's a bro code, but there's no written Cis code. Uh, truth or dare. Kupal people. Bullshit. We share pussy. <laughs> Not really. Two girls, one cup. You should watch the show. What do you think is ailing local football? Well, politics. Should athletes be endorsers? Yes, why not? Why did you refuse to be the Haskell's head coach countless times? I've been there, done that. Too much politics, like I said. Uh, like I posted one time a few days ago, coaching is a thankless job. With what's happening with Michael Weiss, uh, we talked about it already before, uh, personally, one-on-one, -on -one, and I said, it happens. And I said, you should know that because you worked also somewhere in other countries as well. Uh, there's no such thing as a permanent job in coaching, in any sport. Why do you say thankless? Well, you're only as good as the wins. And then that's it. Uh... Plus, of course, there are other factors like uh, there's respect, honor, honesty, and all of this. Because you're just a coach, you're not a manager. 
uh, you're not the association, you're not the institution. So you, as a coach, you're just an employee. So you're as good only as, as the wins that you have. Hi guys, it's me, Tita K. Tita K. Come and hang out on Live Love Laws. Let's talk about makeup, beauty. Hi, Ganda. <laughs> Who's that? We can talk about ugly too. Nah, no, just kidding. And of course, Donya problems galore. Yeah, yeah. Ang spaceship pake on. Fashion, shopping. Oh my God, shopping! I love shopping. Ah! Food. We gotta talk about food. Anything and everything on cyberspace. Let's buy everything. We can talk about glamour and ubusan ng glamour. We fly Wednesday 6 to 7 p.m. only on nmfnetwork.tv. Hi. They say nothing in this world is free, and for the most part, that's true. But here at NMF Network, all shows are indeed 100% free. And as an added feature, you have the option to subscribe to all your favorite programs also at no charge. Why should you subscribe? By subscribing, you no longer have the hassle of delays when you stream the program. You also don't need to keep checking our site to see if your favorite programs are up because they'll automatically be uploaded to your device as soon as it's available. Here's how to do it. For those people with Apple mobile devices, First, you need to download the podcast app. Once you download the podcast app, open it and you should be taken to the featured page. Now, you look for the store button. Hit the store button and after doing that, hit the search button. Put your cursor on it and type New Media Factory. All our shows should automatically appear. Pick your favorite or favorites. Open it and hit subscribe. And that's it. You're done. Congratulations and welcome to the new Media Factory fam. That show! <laughs> Alright, welcome back to That Show. We are back. By the way, I'm Kat. I'm Sib and I'm totally anti-RH Bill. Anyway. We're, gonna, we're, gonna, okay. we're, we're over that. We're over that. And this... That's bad. Okay. He, yeah. took a, he took a piss. <laughs> yeah. And this. <laughs> All right. And if you want to get in touch with us personally on Twitter, you can. My Twitter name is at Catalano. He is at Die Sib Die. And he is at Bassier Teddy 73 70. at the bottom of your screen so you can see it. Yes, mm -hmm. add me up. Make me popular. I can sell it. All right. Also, you can now get the iPad Mini, iPad Mini with Retina display, and iPad Air on installment basis at Beyond the Box. Whoa, 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 what? <laughs> Just check out oh, Beyond che, che, che. <laughs> Just check out Beyond the Box on Twitter at Beyond the Box PH or go to Beyond the Box One Rockwell. Yeah, there you go. Do it, man. Yes. Do it. All right, we're gonna go back into a little bit more Ask FM before we go into our sex minutes today. We have ten minutes left of the show, so count your minutes. Be grateful. All right, go. All right. I think we had a pretty epic show tonight. I know, it's pretty yeah, good. Yeah, we're yeah, pretty like, wordy today. Yeah, it's like 45. I, I felt like it was like an hour and a half. Yeah, we're talking about real stuff today. Correct. What the <laughs> hell is up with that? OP, OPM rant. Man. Okay, okay, you guys are going to like this. Here, here. Okay. <clears throat> I have a FUBU, and we've been together for about three months. What's She's a FUBU? Like, like that shirt? Fuck buddy. Fuck ah, buddy. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Really? You're that is that what the shirt? Is that what the shirt? No, it's no. It's for you, by you. Yes, for you, no, by you. No, it's not. It, it is. is. Fuck you, buddy. No, no, uh, no, 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 that, no, no really? that's old. For you, Fubu's by really you. Fubu's old brand. For you, by you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Black, be, black people why, made it for why themselves. Why by you? Yeah. Oh, because they black made it. Black people made it for black people. They made it in the bayou. For us, by us, though. Really? For us, for by us, us. By us. For me, by so me. So it's for only you. for black people now. It's not for you, it's for us. For us, by us. Screw you. But it's made in China. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So here we go. I have a FUBU and we've been together for about three months. She's like an eight and it's been great so far. Eight's she's great. Okay. Eight it's okay. Good job, man. Safe, really safe, safe number. Hang good. on, hang awesome. on. She even wants to try a threesome, but she wants to do it with her friend who's like a four on a good day. Four? <laughs> Should I go for it and or there's pass? The rub. <laughs> eight. Therein lies eight plus the rub. Four is 12. 
Yeah, eight, what's the rule there? Okay, eight, so you add the two, you 12. add the, the eight, eight. The four, and then what? Divided by two? No, you just add it. And then? And it's 12. Oh, so it's Do you add it or is it a, you, ano? Anything below five is a minus. So when yeah, it's no, like I don't think that applies because four she's four. already your your it's a free so she can do the, the, the ugly stuff. All the ugly stuff. Wait, what if she has a beautiful vagina? There is no such thing as a beautiful vagina. It all looks Maybe. alike. It all looks what, alike. If, what if she's no the mysterious pandesal uh pandesal vagina woman? What what? You remember how we were talking yeah, yeah. about whether or not yeah, women yeah, yeah, yeah. want the cell parts, the ba? Like yeah. Ah. Mm. Well. The ba? Then she wouldn't be an eight. She's a or four. Or a four. She, she wouldn't, wouldn't be, a four. be a four. No. You but automatically, he doesn't. Vagina how do you smells know that? like pandesal is automatically a pico. How many notches up? Plus, Plus three. three. She's so a seven. Would be a seven. Ten. That would be a seven. She becomes a seven if she has a pandesal puke. Yep. I don't know. I like, I like you, how you yeah. said that. I like how you said that. Imagine every day you wake up to this this uh, beautiful smell. Well, what thing. is that? Bre- breakfast? Yeah. Is that bread? <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, oh. No, oh, oh. It's my <laughs> vagina. Oh, oh. oh. And the good angels morning. come in and there's a trumpet. <laughs> well, good morning <laughs> to you. Yes, good morning, right? Good in morning, fact, babe. If if my woman had a vagina that smelled <laughs> like pandesal, I would wake up in the morning and you're right. I would not say... Good morning to my woman. I would say good morning to the good vagina morning first. To you. <laughs> good morning. Thank you for gracing me with your presence. And then after, oh, and yes. Uh, By the way, oh, <laughs> love you, babe. Thanks. thanks. Yeah. yeah. So would you? Why don't you go cook me something? Would you have no, a cup kidding. of coffee while you uh, go down on her? Wow. <laughs> if you think about, <laughs> if I've never entertained thoughts <laughs> like this, me neither. This pandesal. But it's alpuke, as you would say. Opens up a lot of A lot of possibilities. I can (laughs) sip my coffee and go... (laughs) Actually, do you know know my sister? Yes. My sister, she gets uh, fried rice and egg, right? So she does the fried rice and the egg and she does that. And she dips it in her coffee. And sometimes, every now and then, she'll dip a pandesal in that thing. In the coffee. So you're going to dip a puki in your coffee? No, not me. I'm just saying my <laughs> sister does it and it tastes good, so... Yeah, I could... Uh, essentially, yeah, I, I could uh, dip it in there and like have a little nibble. Mm-hmm. A nibble. <laughs> <laughs> a little nibble. <laughs> <laughs> a little nibble. All right, so wait. Nibble. So should he at the, at the, you know... Should he go for this threesome with the four, with the four and the eight? Yes. Yeah. No, I think we've talked about the whole threesome thing and then it... The, We've done this before, right? Threesome. The threesome always opens up possibilities that your woman will be more no, inclined no, to do. No, 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 wait. What? Stop, stop. You're the one that's No, that. I know, but this is a different scenario because okay. obviously... Oh, because she's pang it. No, because she's picked her and she's a four. So, Shembre the eight is picking the uglier girl so that the guy won't be attracted. I, I actually... Ah. So in other words, there is no already communal love. Yes, there is uh, already like, insecurity okay. on this girl's part. But she wants to make three. So. I have See, an, that's something... I have, I have an, an answer, answer to this question? thing. Have you ever had a panget girlfriend? I've never had a girlfriend. Really? I've been with girls. I notice all pretty girls always have a panget girlfriend. <laughs> They yeah. always have a freaking pangit Oh, girlfriend. you mean like a girlfriend like dating or like a girlfriend who's yeah, like, like your when friend? Yeah, I was a kid, Kabatada. I had a girlfriend when I was a kid and I had a girlfriend and there was she a pangit girlfriend. Like pangit. a best friend, the pangit. Yeah, man. Wait, that so was like tropa, like not like throwing girlfriend. Throwing a wrench yeah. in yeah. everything, yeah. man. I, well, it's like I'm about to make a shunan and it's like, hey, you, what are you guys doing? That's wow. the grenade. What are you talking about? That's a commonplace thing. Is that your bantai or something? <laughs> your ugly, your ugly julals? It, it, it makes them look Can better in comparison. That's the thing, right? Exactly, Ange, that's yes. why it, people do it that. It ups, it ups the right? It ups your game. If you hang out with people who are you better than you. sit on the four's face and let her eat your balls and then bang <laughs> your eight girlfriend. She's right. the bridge. She's this the bridge. guy the bridge. is a genius. You I always not even up joking. everything for you. You make it so that you girl don't have never to wants to face. come back again. I think this is the most so epic episode of that show that we've ever had. Facing, facing yes, she lies down. You sit 
You, you, you too will have to write a book. You All are right. you are heading. Guys, thank you so much for joining us today on, on the show. We gotta get out of here. Thank you so much for joining yeah. us. We like, get to our sex. Blah, 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 blah. Talking next and week like, is the season ball. and we're in our show. Be sure to tune in. And you can slide. We'll be back next your week, guys. A-hole. Love you so much. Oh yeah, I'm doing that. Definitely do that. What the guy who asked the first question. The views and opinions expressed on any program are those of the persons appearing on the program and do not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of the New Media Factory. Some programs on this network might include strong images and language and may not be suitable for all audiences. Viewer discretion is advised.